Oh, good morning, everybody. Welcome back. It's Mark. I uh, tell you what, I want to talk about the walleye cheating scandal that's rocking the fishing community. I know there's a ton of videos on it. There's a ton of memes going around. Um, I think a lot of the people that are joking about it are not tournament fishermen. Uh, because... This should make tournament fishermen sick to their stomach because this is not an isolated incident. I think this stuff happens quite a bit. These two guys, Chase Kaminsky and Jacob Runyon, apparently in this tournament could have won about $28,500. So, yeah, it's a lot of money. That, that invites cheating. People cheat for a lot less. And it's it's embarrassing to the sport. It shows a lack of uh, character, morals, ethics, whatever. It is, it's, it's, like I said, it's truly embarrassing to the sport that there are people out there that do this. This is not new though. People have been doing this forever. Uh, stuffing weights building boxes that they sink underwater and then they go fetch them, especially on some giant bodies of water. It's, it's almost impossible to catch people doing this uh, until you get to the weigh-in. And what's the, what's the answer to all of this? Uh, polygraphs have been instituted now uh, in tournaments to catch people and it works. Uh, in fact, at the U.S. Open, Johnny Morris deal here at uh, Table Rock last year, uh, guys leading day one got caught on a polygraph line about rules. It was not as egregious as stuffing weights in a fish. I, I, I can agree with this, but the rules are rules. And, uh, if you violate them, you're going to get caught. And so I'm not going to compare stuffing weights to uh, maybe soliciting advice while on the lake, even though both of them are disqualifiable uh, things. So the deal is, um, you know, before cell phones, Jacob Runyon and Chase Kaminsky might not have made it out of the parking lot. But everybody's got their phones on and that's evidence. So the last thing anybody's going to do now is beat somebody's ass at the ramp when everybody's recording it. That uh, invites a whole host of legal issues. But, you know, back in the day, people were held in check by the fear of getting your ass kicked or worse. Um, I don't know, some of these people in Lake Mead that are popping up in barrels, were they fishing tournament guys? I don't know. Most likely not, probably hotel mafia guys. But, you know, it was a reality. Uh, people people would get hurt if they got caught cheating. And, you know, moving forward, you know, that's less of an option because, like I said, there's legal implications to doing these things and it's it's not right you know two wrongs don't make a right but people will uh i'm gonna revert back to people will do things for money i mean people do a lot less and how do we moving forward keep people in check i run my own tournaments i'm gonna have a big one here in may do i need to worry about people cheating i hope not i think in the future, you know, you're going to see x-rays of fish or a way to determine if there's foreign weight or whatever. So the problem with lead weight is, like, you couldn't put a magnet on it. A magnet's not going to detect that. Uh, you're going to have to either cut it open, search the stomach, or uh, x-ray it for, you know, foreign debris. So how do we do that? Um, I'm sure that people are on it right now. The, the minute this happened, I'll bet you there's a guy sitting in his garage right now trying to figure out how to make a feasible solution to x-ray fish at a tournament that's not going to take all day. Ultimately, my thoughts on this is don't cheat. How many people 
in the tournament series that Jacob Runyon and Chase Kaminsky fished in got cheated. For how long? Uh, I'm sure it's going to come out. If these guys don't get prosecuted for this, the people that run this organization are at fault. They're part of the problem by allowing it to uh, go unprosecuted. So the pressure is on big time on these people to follow through. The, the microscope right now on the fishing tournament fishing community anyway is is magnified huge uh this is the kind of deal that turns people off from tournament fishing you know there's always this speculation all oh, those guys cheated those guys yeah it happened and it's going to continue to happen until people are prosecuted and kept in check so i hope uh I hope this doesn't deter any of you to come fish in my tournament. Uh, I hope that we run a clean tournament. I know on my end, we do. Um, but looking forward to our May 20, 21st event here at Table Rock Lake. It's a two-day event if you're interested. But in the future, do the right thing. Have some ethics. Have some morals. And enjoy your time on the lake. Take it easy. I'll see you guys real soon. Have a great day.